I just announced the shop, <laughs> the website. Uh, I just uh, made an announcement on YouTube and Instagram. And uh, yeah, I'm just feeling super grateful. I was so anxious today and it's like already 5 p.m. I was gonna do it earlier, but I just kept like getting super anxious about it. But I feel good that the news is finally out. <laughs> Uh, I'm just looking forward to it and I just always wanted to start a plant shop but the thought of actually the thought of actually it happening it just seems like it was there was just too much to do I never thought that I would be able to do this and to see my little website come to life is just crazy So I figured I would vlog for this weekend and my first drop. I, I just think it's going to be fun to record uh, things in the moment and just looking back and seeing this footage uh, when I actually first uh, launched. So uh, yeah, today is Thursday. My first drop is going to be tomorrow at noon Eastern. I guess it's gonna be exciting to see like what all sells and who's buying for me and I look forward to like having like new customers and then like repeated customers if I recognize the people that buy for me. I don't know, I just think it's gonna be so special and I can't wait. <laughs> uh, I think I have around 30 to 40 plants for the first drop. I have them all up on the site, it's ready. All I have to do is just click a button and they'll all pop on there. My husband's working tomorrow and Saturday and then he's off on Sunday. So I'm sure he'll be just excited for me and everything. And uh, he's already asked like, is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> I guess I'm just more particular about shipping and packaging plants. And I know he doesn't have any experience with that. So, uh, but yeah, maybe I'll find something for him to do to help me out. <laughs> I kind of gave you all a look at everything in the sneak peek video that I did for the website launch. So I think, um, yeah, I'm waiting on my husband to get home now. It's almost 5.30. We're gonna go to the grocery store when he gets home and then grab some, I think, I want some sushi. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna stop and eat and get some groceries for the rest of the week. I have been watering plants. I need to finish watering in my plant room. Uh, all of my moss poles, I'm a day late than I normally am, so I was super panicked in there. So I'm gonna finish up that tonight. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy this kind of vlog video. I think, I don't think I'll pop back on here tomorrow or today, cause yeah, there's nothing really else that I'm gonna be doing today that would be interesting. I, I think tomorrow I'll make sure I have all my supplies and everything ready to go to, cause I have a lot of stuff out in the garage that I need to organize and then I kind of want to prep my area depending on what sells. I want to like pre, I'm doing like a little gift thing for each order. So I need to like prep all that, make sure I have my labels. I'll have to figure out what kind of shipping box will work best for me, like which size I'm reaching for the most. I have like three to four different sizes right now, but I'm thinking I'm going to need an even bigger size because I think my largest box is 14 inches. And I think if I have anything like, I don't plan on selling like too big of plants. So anything under that, I should be able to ship in a box. I'm just worried that I might need like one more size up just for certain plants that I might have to ship that are a bit bigger. So yeah, I will pop back on here sometime tomorrow. I'm actually going to be uh, responding to some comments and go through my Instagram DMs. Uh, I'll probably spend the next little bit on there until my husband comes home. And uh, yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow, but thank you so much for being here and for watching. I hope you enjoy this kind of like relaxed vlog style video. And uh, yeah, I don't know what all I'm gonna include on here or how long it's gonna be, but I'm just gonna turn the camera on and just turn it on and film while I'm doing stuff, but I hope you enjoy either way. And yeah, I'll chat with you um, tomorrow. Good morning. I just made myself a hot cup of coffee. Uh, it looks so good. I just bought a new thing of creamer. Oh, so good. <laughs> it is almost 10.30 in the morning. I have not gotten dressed yet. I was up till like three in the morning. So I'm very tired. I got up at eight, so <laughs> I 
I've just been on the computer. I have it right here in front of me. Uh, I stayed up responding to a lot of messages and comments and was just feeling very emotional, like reading through everything. I still have so many people to reply to. So uh, it's exciting. I'm getting very emotional <laughs> thinking about everything. It's kind of cool. I can go into the analytics on my website now that I actually have traffic to the website and I can see uh, how many people are coming onto the site and like what source that they came from, whether they came from Google or a link from my Instagram or YouTube. I can see how long someone's been on my site, what they're browsing. I can't tell, like, I don't know who it is. It's just, it just gives me like a visitor number. So I have no idea who the person is, but it's kind of cool that I can look at all these like real time analytics. I don't know, I just think it's so cool. The cats have the zoomies right now. It is going to be storming all day today and I think tomorrow. I'm gonna try and shower here before, uh, <laughs> before noon. I'm gonna probably take like the next 30 minutes and make sure my products that I have available are good, like the postings. I went through these like three times already, but I wanna go through them one more time and make sure uh, everything's, everything looks good with them. And then at 12, I'm literally gonna hit uh, them to be available. And it's just gonna be so fun to see who buys I don't know, I'm excited. I'm really excited to start packing orders. Where'd he go? I hear him, chai is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just really excited to start packing orders. I definitely need to organize this little section a little bit more and uh, go through the stuff I have in the garage. I gotta get like my paper cutter set up and yeah, I'm gonna check on the plants, I think a bit later too. I've been like checking, I've been like checking my nursery plants way more than my own plants because I'm like coming in there every day making sure that they're all good and nobody needs water because I'm not watering them all on the same day so uh, the mix that I use for propagating in it's uh, cocoa chips perlite and sphagnum moss so it does stay uh, moist it holds moisture but <laughs> uh, it's very warm and some days, especially over summer, I feel like I'm gonna to have to be watering, watering in there almost every day. Cause yeah, when you have like a little three, four inch pot, it's different compared to when you have like a six, eight inch pot. So the smaller pots dry out very quickly. So yeah, I'm gonna drink my coffee, look at my products one more time. And then I think I'm gonna pop in the shower really quick before noon. And uh, I'll be back on for when I actually hit live and just see what happens <laughs> uh, and get my reaction. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back on in a little bit. My heart is beating so fast right now. <sighs> I was just like rushing out of the shower. I'm like, I'm shaking. It's 1157, we have three minutes and then I'm going to publish the plants. I'm taking a look at how many people are on my site right now. It's just kind of cool to see, like, I don't know. It's just crazy. I'm trying not to cry, but it's crazy to think that my site is finally up and running. <laughs> I'm such a crybaby. Aww. It just means so much to me that so many people are just like interested in my plants and the support. Oh gosh. Oh, am I out of focus? No. Ah. <laughs> uh, I knew I was gonna cry. <laughs> I'm just so anxious. I don't know why. I feel like uh, back in the day when I used to be on Facebook, I would do purges or I would be like in groups where somebody was listing like plants for sale on a time and they would like post a picture up of a plant you had to type sold. That's how a lot of my collection started. I was so active back in the day, but now I'm not active in Facebook, but I'm like getting that same anxious feeling. Like uh, as soon as something was post posted, I was refreshing a lot of the time and, uh, just like so anxious, that anxious feeling. 
We got one minute. <laughs> I should have put a t-shirt on. It's a little chilly, so I put a sweater on, but now I'm like, I'm getting hot. <laughs> Hi, Chai. We got one minute. I'm so nervous. This is the longest minute ever. <laughs> Okay, it's 12 o'clock. Okay. Ah, it's on there. <laughs> uh, I hope people like the plants that I have up here. I think I have about, I think I did 10 seedlings, my anthurium seedlings, because that's 10 separate plants to package up. And then I have about 30, 30 other plants. And then uh, I did some like pre-bagged mixes there on the table. I'm going to sell like my uh, Aeroid mix, my new mix that I love. And then I'm selling some tree fern and like my prop mix that all the plants are getting shipped in. Uh, I just want to see how it goes if people are interested in that kind of thing. Uh, I may eventually do like other stuff on my website, like, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe like pots and pl other plant stuff, but yeah, I just like put a few on there. I'm just testing the waters with that. <laughs> my site is live with the plants. I wonder if anything sold out yet. Let me refresh this. <laughs> I can't tell. It's only been a minute, so probably enough people haven't checked out yet. <laughs> I'm still like learning how to navigate to my website. Uh, it's a lot to, there's a lot of buttons and clicks and everything. I'm uh, doing it through Wix. I just decided to use them when I initially set up my website. So uh, it's a lot to, figure out. <laughs> I'm sure as I go, I'll get better, but I don't know how the whole processing and shipping thing works yet. So uh, I have 244 people on the site right now. <laughs> oh, it's going up. I have four orders already. Oh, I hope people like the plants. <laughs> I'm glad I'm sharing this with you guys because I'm home by myself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that makes me so happy. I'm going to have so much fun packaging all the orders. I'm curious what people have bought so far. Let me see. <laughs> I hope everything works well with the site. Oh, the alocasias, most of the alocasias are purchased. Ah, someone bought the elbow. <laughs> oh, and the aria. It was hard for me to figure out like how to price plants because I don't want to like overprice, but then I have to account for like shipping supplies and extra shipping I may have to pay because all the stuff that goes into shipping, as far as all the supplies can add up. I also like spend so much time in care, I have to account for like my quality. So I don't wanna like overdo it, but I don't wanna underdo it either. So it was very, it was very challenging for me to figure out. Whoops, I was just talking and didn't realize my battery died. All the plants are sold out. I have 35 orders. That's a lot to package up. It's going to be so fun though. <laughs> I'm going to start packing uh, probably Sunday evening and then I'll be packing, yeah, literally all day Monday. And then whatever I don't get finished Monday, I'll be packing Tuesday. Oh, uh, thank you guys so much. My husband was just texting me. Uh, he's been keeping an eye on it. Uh, 
I want to cry again. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing all the orders come through now. I recognize some of your names. Who bought the elbow? Oh. I love that elbow. If you're watching this and you bought the elbow, <laughs> I hope you love it. I hope all of you love all the plants that you bought. If you're watching this, I'll have to like randomly draw a few orders to package on here. Uh, I just don't know what to say. I'm so like emotional. <laughs> I think 35 is a good, a good amount of orders. I definitely didn't want to like overdo it. So I'm glad I, Oh wait, do I have a new order? Yeah, I'm glad I didn't overdo it, uh, but it's good. 35 is good. I think when I did my Instagram sale, when I was selling all of my elbow props and I did, I did like other plants on there that I had growing that I was just like ready to let go. And I think I had 27 orders at that time. I think a couple of those orders had like five or more plants because a couple of people bought like a few from my sale. So I think I probably packaged at least 40, 50 plants. I feel like 35 plants is a good, it's very doable. I'll see how long it takes me to package these uh, and how to like process all these. And then, um, uh, yeah, if I feel like I can do more, then I'll definitely have more on the site available. Thank you so much. I, I'm glad I recorded my reaction. I can't wait to like watch my reaction back. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably just going to be, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel the rest of the day. I do need to actually like work and edit. Uh, I want to have a YouTube video go up tomorrow, Saturday. I want to have it go up Sunday, I believe, because I'm going to be busy uh, Monday and Tuesday with orders. So I like, I'd like to have a video ready to go by Sunday. So I need to edit that. So I'll probably work on that today and then, uh, check on plants. He's so happy. I'm glad he's being so supportive. <laughs> he's like, you need to double your prices. I'm like, no. <laughs> but just thank you to everyone for buying for me. It's gonna be so much fun for me to package everything and I cannot wait. <laughs> but yeah, whenever I feel like popping on again, I'll pop back on the vlog, but it may not be until Sunday, but we'll see. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys here again in a little bit. I am popping on. It's actually the same day. It's like 7.30. I am getting so sleepy because I got up or I stayed up so late. But I figured I would turn the camera on because uh, I'm in the mood to transfer some of my alocasia so that they can... I just need to like separate them out so they can start growing a bit more. I need to order more supplies, like more nursery pots, like... ASAP, I might do that tomorrow. I wanted to show you uh, an update on the corms and then I got a few of these. I think they're technically like a shoe box, I think. Uh, it's like a clear case and you can open it uh, from the front. It's a pretty good size. I'm sure you could probably, you could take this off and put the lid this way if you wanna open it down instead of opening it out. Why is mine a little crooked? I don't know, <laughs> but that's what it looks like. So I'm going to use this as like storage for the alocasia so I can put them in here because I could probably do three rows easily this way and then I could probably do maybe five or six plants this way. So I feel like I could fit a lot of corms in here and then I can just stick this on the bottom shelf because I mainly want it enclosed because the cats come in here sometimes and uh, I don't want them messing with any plants that are on the bottom shelf because everything that's on the bottom is closed. Like all my domes, they're all like, they all have lids. So let me show you an update. So this is the Michelitziana off of my big one right here. Look at all of them coming in. Look how cute they are. And then I guess I stuck a couple of variegated ones in here too that are starting to sprout. But since they're getting a little bit bigger now, like the dome still fits, but I feel like, cause this is the bigger dome, but they are getting a little squished. I feel like at least some of them is like this one's getting squished. 
this is all variegated here. These are a bit slower, but they are making progress. I have some that are sprouting. That one's so cute, and I have a little one back there. So cute, but this one is getting a little, a little tall, like he's getting a little squished in there, so I wanna go ahead. And since these have been under higher humidity, I feel like it'll be nice to put them in something like this. It'll still hold humidity, but it's not like, it's not super humid, I guess. And then I can always like maybe prop this open or something for airflow. I might could like stick something here so that it's like a little cracked so airflow can come in here. So yeah, I have another one that I'm gonna build. I actually, this was a set of three that I got. So I used one for the Monstera Mint Babies, which you guys, Probably should see, yeah, you guys will see that video before this one. And they come flat like this. And they just kind of all uh, fit in together. So you have your front and then you have your back piece and then the top, bottom and two side panels. So you, they, do, they basically just like fit into one another. So it's pretty easy to put together. So I have that one and that one that I'm gonna use for corms. And I also have a lot of my seedlings I want to start transferring out to. This here, I have like eight of these. <laughs> and I think I have like one or two anthuriums per little pod, but I'm, they're getting squished by the lid for sure. Like here, they're starting to get where they're not fitting anymore. And I can't leave them off like this on the bottom shelf. So I'm going to start transferring them in their own little cups. I need to buy more bulk of these. I like the size, these are three inches. They're so cute. So I'm gonna work on moving them over. I'm probably just gonna use my propagation mix so that way I don't have to disturb the root system twice. Do you know what I mean? That way they'll be in their propagation medium or their shipping medium that I can just go ahead and when they've rooted and stabilized, I can get ready to list them. And then I also have all these ones. <laughs> these are uh, regal shields. Look how cute they are. I'm gonna uh, separate these out into like their own little thing because they're just all piled into one. I just like threw all the corms in here. So yeah, I'm gonna work on that a little bit and yeah, I'll build this other dome and then I'll probably make room for these on the bottom shelf. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and order a third shelf because I'm gonna need it. And it'll probably take a week to come in anyway. And then I need another set of the Barina lights. Someone did ask what lights these were and they're just the T5s. I like the T5s and the T8s. The T8s are in my Ikea cabinet and I, they're great lights. And I have the T5s all throughout my plant room shelves. Hi, Chai. Let's say hi. Chai wants to say hi. You want to say hi. Say hi. Yeah. Say hi. I gotta cut their nails, they're getting long. <laughs> Hi buds. I'm gonna bend you down a little closer so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But I just have like a bin here and I have my cups out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this one here over, this beautiful fried egg leaf and I only like to do a small batch of, this is like the propagation mix because I don't wanna to wet too much and have it sit wet if I'm not gonna use it. So I'd rather work with a small batch at a time. I need to get some like, some more bigger containers like this. I only have a couple and I'd rather use like clean ones just for the mix only rather than just like a small thing. But I only wet it, like I said, a little bit at a time. And this is just my fertilizer water. And then I just kind of moisten it. And then, yeah, we'll add this into one of our little cups and add our cutting in. Now, since this is in stratum, I could like move it to a bigger cup in stratum, but since I am disturbing this, I don't want to put it in another cup to later disturb it again. I'd rather it go ahead and situate in this mix because I don't want to mess with the roots too much, so. Uh, it should do fine in this mix and grow some like healthy, stronger roots. And then from here, you can either put it into like your soil mix or if you want to move it to pond, uh, it's just kind of 
whoever is buying. That's why I don't want to strictly do soil. I don't want to ship in just soil because I feel like not everyone grows in soil. Not everyone wants soil. So it kind of looks like that. It's all moistened. It's such a pretty leaf. I need my little shovel so I'm not damaging any roots. I need to go get it. It doesn't have a lot of roots, so it'll definitely establish in here. I'm going to pull off this little brown bit. There's a little regal shield. I don't want to rinse too much of the stratum. I don't want to mess with the root system too much. Kind of plop it down in here. It's actually getting ready to pop a new leaf. Do you see right there? Such a pretty leaf. So cute. I'm just using a nursery cup, nursery pot. This one's going to pop a new leaf soon, too.
Hello guys, it is Sunday, Sunday afternoon. It's like three, just after three o'clock. I'm gonna get started packing orders. I'm probably gonna package two or three on here with you and uh, I'll continue packing the rest of the evening. And then I have all day Monday to pack as well and then all day Tuesday. And then uh, we'll see We'll kind of see how I can process these orders and how many I can get through. I have 41 orders, which is just crazy. Uh, so I have 41 uh, orders to process and package. I'm really excited though, and I can't wait to start packaging everyone. I didn't film any yesterday, but I did do a lot of prep. Let me show you. Sorry if you hear the dryer right now. Uh, we have some towels in the dryer that are almost done. So last night I started like prepping a bunch of packing supplies. Uh, I only got through half of them, that pile there. I have to go through and package up. Uh, that is like these little baggies here. This is what I'm including in the orders. I have uh, little things like this that's going to include, we have some stickers. I have like plants and cat stickers, some uh, steaks. I am including like a little clip in the bag and then one of my shop um, stickers. I have like all the packing slips here. This is half of them and then I have the other half to do that I didn't like package up yet. So I'll probably work on that later tonight. My plan is to just go in order. So I'm going to start with order number one and then package it, order number two, package it, order number three and try and get through as many as I can. And yeah, I'll make a trip to the post office tomorrow and then I might place a request for USPS pickup on Tuesday. This one here is the first order. It's the Monstera Esqueleto. It's so beautiful. It actually put out the new leaf already. It's like unfurling since I took the photo. It's so stinking cute. Uh, so anything that needs to be watered, I'm going to water. I have my water ready to go with some like gentle fertilizer and then I have some soap mixture. I'm gonna be like inspecting all the leaves one more time uh, and clean them before I get ready to package them up. I have a ton of boxes here and I have a lot more out in the garage. I think these two are probably gonna be my most popular box sizes, but I actually had to run out to Walmart to get um, some ink and I got one more big box. I think I'm gonna need that one for the Monstera Albo because I don't think it's gonna fit. I need some like longer boxes because I think the longest one I have is 14 inches and I think I need like a 16, 17 inch box. So I might have to order some of those. Yeah, and all my packing supplies are kind of stuffed here and out in the garage. I have my shipping labels ready to go. I'm gonna start printing those as I package up. I have my scale to weigh the packages, my tape, everything all here. Anyone who ordered winter protection, I have heat packs there. I think I think I had eight orders that had winter protection. So I have to wrap them in insulation, everything once I'm done. So all that's like back there. These are all the substrates that were purchased here. So I'll pack those in the orders with the plants. Yeah, so honestly, that's really it. Uh, I'm just looking forward to packing. I would have gotten started a little bit sooner, but uh, we were cleaning. I hadn't cleaned the house in like 10, 12, 13 days. It was, the bathrooms really needed to be clean. So uh, my husband helped me with that. We've been cleaning the house the last three hours. He's actually in uh, his office, uh, is back there. He's in his office. <laughs> so I'll see, he might, uh, I'll see what he can help me with later if he wants to pop on here. I'm gonna set up the camera and we'll package our first little plant together and and yeah, we'll go from there. So this little cutie is not getting shipped right now. Uh, I checked, I happened to see the location the buyer was from and it's up north and the temperatures are really cold this week, like lows like really cold in the teens. So I just like emailed her and said that I'm gonna hold it this week, unfortunately. And they didn't order winter protection and it's not covered in my policy. So I don't wanna willingly ship a plant without protection if it's not gonna do well, you know? I want the person to have like a happy plant and I don't wanna ship it out with a chance of it like not making it, you know? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to it this week. So we are actually going to ship this one, the variegated gigantium. It is beautiful. 
I love the colors. I think this was like the next order. So let's package this one up. This one is so pretty. I love the variegation on it. Whoops, my battery died. <laughs> so I just kind of taped the top of it. I just have uh, some polyfill in here and just some like masking tape. And then I just taped the bottom and around so that this is secure. So next I'm gonna use uh, cardboard to wrap the plants in. I have this small roll left and then for bigger plants, I have like a huge massive roll of this out in the garage. It's like two feet long so I can cut it to size and that should fit most plants. So I'm just gonna tape it to here and we will use a lot of polyfill and secure this baby. So it looks like the leaves, I'm going to bend them this way. It looks like uh, in order to wrap it. So I'm just protecting, literally protecting the leaves on all sides. This is the top, so this is all like stuffed with polyfill all around the plant and then I just taped it and then I have a little thank you sticker here and then this is the bottom and it's secured with tape and polyfill here so it's not like moving. This isn't getting any insulation so after this I would wrap it in a layer of insulation to help protect it but since uh, we're not doing that for this one and their weather's good, this is how I'm just gonna wrap it. Um, and I think this box will fit perfectly, this size. I have uh, some paper down in here, and then I'm just going to stuff in here, and I think it's like literally the perfect fit. I forgot the most important part. I was gonna do tissue paper to make it pretty. I forgot about this. How could I forget about this? This was like one of the things I was looking forward to the most. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at how beautiful.
first order is done. I'm so excited. It took me a little bit longer to kind of get in the jive. I think my last sale was December, so it's been like three months since I packaged plants. I feel like I was a little bit slow, but I'm so excited. The first one is all ready. Kelly, I hope you love your plant and uh, I'm excited. Let's go grab some more. <laughs> uh, one down, 40 more to go. <laughs> Our next order is this gorgeous Monstera Albo. She is beautiful. This has an all white leaf, uh, which can be prone to browning, but that's the newest leaf. It's like half, half moon leaf. It's so pretty and it has a cute little one back here. And that's the original propagated leaf. It's in my uh, soil mix and this plant is so rooted already. Uh, there's some more roots climbing out of there, but yeah, I'm going to ship it in the soil mix, but pretty much everything is getting shipped in the propagation mix, but plants that are established in soil, I'm going to leave in soil and it has a couple long aerial roots that I'll have to bundle up here. See, I'm going to, I'm not going to water this one cause I watered this one the other day and usually it's good for about a week, so it should be fine by the time it gets to her. This is going to Lisa. So if you're watching this, Lisa, I'm gonna package your elbow. I'm gonna clean the leaves first.
I'm gonna have to run out and get a bigger box for the elbow. It's 19 inches, so my box was 17 inches. I need like a 20 inch in length box. So I'll have to run out and just buy one somewhere tomorrow so I can finish packing that one up. I think the last one that I'll do on here is these two here. This is going to Ashley. So you got number 94, Hoya Elinieris. It's beautiful. And then you also got the Jessiena. Gorgeous color. She is beautiful. Growing a ton of roots in here. Oh, this is going to Michigan. Yeah, let me check the weather. Uh, they didn't order winter protection. And then um, if it's too cold, I'll just email them. It's dinner time. I'll be back to pack uh, the rest of these up.
All right, I think that's all I'm gonna film this evening uh, so I don't have to worry about the camera. I'm going to try and get through as many as I can tonight because I can't package too late because I don't want to like wake my husband up because ripping tape and everything is really loud. So I'm only going to be able to package for like a couple more hours and then I'll just get up early in the morning and yeah, I'll be packaging all day tomorrow. And by the looks of it, I'm going to be packaging all day Tuesday because yeah, I have like 39 orders to pack. That's a lot. <laughs> Um, so yeah, but I'm excited. It just, I'm finally getting back into the groove. I feel like once I start shipping, I'll be able to like do it more quickly, but I'm also like taking my time, making sure that everything's good labeled. I didn't forget anything. So uh, yeah, I'll probably pop back on sometime tomorrow and give you a little update. Uh, yeah, I'll see how many more I can get through tonight. Hello, just popping on to give you a little update. I forgot to charge my mic, so it's not charged. So I gotta make this quick, <laughs> but I just wanted to fill you in. <sighs> That's a lot of boxes. I have 18 orders left. <laughs> I have a lot more packing to do. Uh, it's definitely taking a while. It's, the packing isn't hard. I love packing plants. It's just, it takes a lot of time. Some of the packages had multiple plants, so. Uh, yeah, it's a good uh, good gauge on how I'm going to be able to do this because I think I had about 40 plants and I really don't think I can do more than that and package them up because I started packing Sunday, yesterday evening. And so I've been packing since 6.30 this morning and it's a little after three. I actually just had to run out to the UPS store uh, to get a 20 inch length box because I have one package here that I was packing up, but it's too long. It doesn't fit any of the boxes that I have. So I'm gonna package this a last little plant up, print the shipping label, and then make my way to the post office. It's about 30 minutes away. Uh, so I'm gonna head there, drop all these packages off. I can't do same day pickup, so I'm gonna try and schedule a pickup for tomorrow when I get back if I can for the remaining orders so I don't have to run out there again tomorrow. USPS has been good so far, but UPS is a lot closer to me and that's where I went to go get that box. So I'm tempted to switch it to UPS because I feel like it's more convenient. But yeah, I'm gonna finish up here. This is the Monstera Albo, that's why it's so big. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this packaged and uh, be on our way. And I'll probably pack some more this evening. And then tomorrow's Tuesday, I'll finish up. I should finish up by like noon, I feel like tomorrow if I do some this evening. And then I'll probably spend the day, spend the day just resting some and I need to edit and do some stuff like other content. And then I'll have to look through my plants and see what I'm ready to sell for like the next drop. And I just need to figure out things of how I'm gonna do things, but I really don't think I can package more than like 40 or 50 packages at most, because it's a lot for one person. And this is the beautiful elbow. So I have, that's the top labeled, and then that's the bottom here, and I have it all nice and secured. Ah, oh, perfect fit. It's just a little bit of a big box, but it fits nicely. I measured it, it was 19 inches, so <laughs> a 20, 20 inch box was perfect. I'm gonna put the packing slip and freebie in here. She always wants to sit on my computer and it's the most inconvenient time. <laughs> uh, I gotta go to my orders. And let's see. This is going to a South Carolina and this is Lisa. I think I did pack this with you. So she chose priority mail. 
And it's going to South Carolina, so I use pirate ship to ship. So we're going to create a new shipping label. Fill in her information. It's usually labeled, but they don't have it labeled. 20 by 12 by 12. Ow. All right, girlfriend, we got to sit it on our scale. Say, goose me. Goose me. <laughs> goose me. Don't you sit on my computer either. This is a ginormous box for this tiny scale. <laughs> Ooh, we're over four pounds. That's going to be an expensive ship. Four pounds. We'll do four pounds in like an ounce. I'm gonna pay for extra insurance because priority only covers a hundred, but then I think they're not covering live plants anymore unless you do express. I don't know, I'm gonna pay for extra insurance. All right, get rates. Let's see how expensive this is gonna be. Priority Mail Express is $95, ain't no way. I'm just gonna do priority mail. It says it'll get there Wednesday, which is in two days, 1788. And then they calculated, she paid $12 for shipping. So I'm paying a little extra for shipping. And I had to buy the box. That box was $9. So that's like cost that I'm eating. Everything's good. Let's buy our label and we're going to print it. have our shipping label. And then I'm just going to fulfill my order and update the tracking on my website. And it'll automatically send the customer an email that the shipping label has been printed. And then once I drop it off and they I guess pick it up or say that they received it on their end, it'll start tracking. She done. So yeah, I'm going to head to the post office now. Should be fun, should be interesting, lugging all these boxes. <laughs> uh, why didn't I schedule a pickup for today? I don't know, I'm beating myself for that. I guess because I haven't scheduled a pickup before, so I'm gonna do that when I get home, so don't forget to do that for tomorrow. Uh, I probably won't film me packing anything else tonight because I've already showed some of that, so. Uh, is this it for the vlog then? This might be it for the vlog. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it though. It was, it was a little rocky. I felt like once I get a groove going, I feel like I don't have a good setup as far as packing goes. I'm packing on this dining room table, which is fine, but I'm going to get a cover for it so I don't mess it up. And I need to get another shelf for in there. I think it's just kind of all over the place right now. So once I get a routine going, I feel like it will, it'll go more smoothly, but yeah, I still have a lot to do and a lot to figure out, but I'm excited for it though. I enjoy packing orders and growing plants. So I just don't know what my threshold is as far as what I can manage. So, <laughs> uh, but I'm just gonna see kind of how it goes and where it leads. But yeah, just thank you for watching and I appreciate all the support so much. I can't wait to, uh, get these all out to you guys so you can get your plants. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you for watching and supporting, and I will talk to you later.